For a federated social network we're building, Jibber, I want to have a script to make certain users admins. And to do that, since we're using TypeScript, I also want the script to be in TypeScript. But the problem comes when you actually run like npm run change role. To actually have a script run like npm run x script, you have to put it in your package.json. And then there's this script section. Here you can put any script that you want to be run. So in our case, I called it change role because we're changing the user's role from just a user to an admin. So to actually use a script, you would do npm run change role. But the problem is if you're using Node, it doesn't know how to actually interpret a TypeScript file. It only knows how to do .js, not .ts. So to do that, we need to convert the TypeScript file into a JavaScript file. And for that, I'm using ESBuild. And there's this neat tool called ESBuild Register that automatically or, you know, on the fly changes TypeScript files to JavaScript files. So you don't have to deal with, you know, setting up an ESBuild file and so on. So this just does it on the fly, which is much easier. And to use this, it's, you can go to this GitHub repo, egoist ES build register, and then do an NPM install. Just pull that into your project like that. Now, the other thing is you want to ensure that you actually have node installed on your computer. And to do that, you can specify engines, node, and then give it a version. That way, if you don't have node installed, it'll give you a warning slash error telling you to install at least this version. Now that we have ensured that the user's installed node and has this, and the project has ES build register installed, we can actually run this file, this .ts file. So if we look at this file, we can just use imports like normal, like a module, we can do module imports. We can get arguments from the process. Then we can, let's say we want to specify some usage. I created this usage command and then exit when that's called. We specify status of one for on Unix machines. If you do anything other than a zero that's positive, it indicates an error. So we check if the ID and the role are set. If not, then call that usage function. Create a new Prisma client to connect to the database. Get the user, then if the user doesn't exist, call the error. If the user does exist, then update with the new role. Comment that it's been changed. So let's actually see this in action. If we do npm run, then change role, we want to get the user ID and also what we want to make the user, so an admin. Now you can see that it's been set as an admin and you can see the admin role has been put into the database. So thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.